I'm pretty sure somebody else is having this problem right now. Foxtail from the D. What's up YouTube? It's Foxtail from the D. I just wanted to come through because I had a problem. And with that problem, I found a solution. I looked all over YouTube for help with this problem that I have. This video is probably gonna help somebody else out. <sighs> There's this pair of shoes that I've always wanted, and these are literally my dream shoes since I was in middle school and I was broke and I couldn't buy my own stuff. There's this website that I go to, it's called Goat Sneakers, and you can go there, they have new and used shoes, it's all authentic, and what the process is, you go on the website, you pick the shoes that you like, if they're new or used, the seller is usually going to have pictures of the shoes that they have on there. You can pick and choose the shoes that you want, the price that you want, pay for it. The seller is going to send the shoes to the Goat Factory. Factory. They're gonna check it out make sure it's real authentic and then they're gonna send it to you took under a week But what I will say is that seller, you know They tried to play me because the pictures that you had on your thing They did not show this defect that you had in the shoe that you showed me. That's fine You try to be funny, but we're gonna fix that right now honey with this tutorial. Okay, so these are the Jordan number seven Bordeaux. Now I was able to find my own pair with this amazing website. Thank you so much, Goat Sneakers. But not a thank you, a big F you to this person that sent me these shoes. You tried it. So if you can see, you know, the shoes look really good, just as good as they did in the pictures. But open the shoe up like this girl is really, it's, it's, it's cracking pretty bad. I'm gonna probably put up a picture if this isn't focusing right. It's probably not. The midsole is chipping. And the paint is not there and I was really shocked um, most shoes like a lot of shoes they have leather and you can get this leather paint it's by Anglin I had to order this off the internet you can go straight to Amazon bitch. we're not gonna have any links down below because I mean maybe I may put it down below if I feel like it but I'm not trying to do too much work I'm gonna mix these colors together match the sole of the shoe this is my first time trying this so let's get to it. I'm actually going to uh, mix, or try my best to mix this paint to match the midsole color. Kind of like a darker gray it looks like. Really shouldn't be that hard to match because I have a pretty dark color gray here and you probably won't need anything more than a couple of drops of black. So I don't know where this, this paintbrush, I actually use this to paint my uh, nails with but this should work so the first thing I'm gonna do loves girl I'm not trying to get my nails messed up and do I need water Fuck. all right All right, so I actually just kind of tried a little dot on the shoe. Ooh. I'm guessing this mix looks, it looks decent enough. You know, I probably could have been a little bit more scientific with it, but I don't feel like wasting any more time. Shouts out to Cork, Cork Sickle. I got this from Uline, so this is what's keeping my wine fine right now. So we're about to start painting now. And I didn't put any, I didn't put anything on the shoe first. I'm just, I'm, man, the shoes are already messed up anyway. Shit, let's go for it. I just did one coat and I'm gonna let it dry. I don't know, this looks kinda dark though. Mm, I may need to put some white in that. Maybe just a drop. I'm about to pass, I'm get lightheaded. It's not 
100% perfect, but you know, it definitely looks 500 times better than having that big white crease on my shoe that I had. This is giving my shoes a new chance at life. That could have easily been something that I would have said, I cannot believe you sent me these shoes like that. I'm not wearing these, but just take some Angless leather paint if you need to repaint your midsoles. The thing about the leather paint is it, it's flexible. If you go and get some cheap acrylic paint from Michaels, it's it's not flexible. It's going to start cracking by the time you start walking. So you want to use paint that's breathable, that's flexible, so that um, you won't have any cracking with this. Honestly, I'm probably going to wear these shoes tomorrow, so yes. I hope that helps somebody. It definitely helped me, shit, because I bought these shoes a week ago and they've been in my closet and I'm definitely wearing them tomorrow. I mean, this is a blessing. Yay, I'm gonna wear these tomorrow, okay. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. All right, so thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. All right.